have you stopped? We're surrounded. Not the welcome party I was hoping for. I should have known you'd be behind this treachery, Renault. What is the meaning of this? Apologies for the icy reception, but we've business with the girl. What business could you have with Scarlet? Unhand her this instant. <laughs> no, I don't think that will be happening. I act under orders from Emperor Galerius himself. As for what he plans to do with her, that's not for one of my station to know. Yet I shall see it done all the same. No! Scarlet! I'm ashamed to hear you met such misfortune before I arrived. Your Highness, this man is Clive, the knight we spoke of earlier. A pleasure. Still, it rankles the mind. I never would have dreamt that Galerius was after Scarlet, and not you, my prince. Who was that knight who took her? His name is Renault, formerly a proud servant of Queen Elenia. Not unlike myself. And just as I fell victim to Galerius and his foul magic, it would seem he has met with a similar fate. All the same, why Scarlet? Perhaps her role as a priestess has something to do with it. Lately I've heard tell of Zenoira's desire to spread its roots into the orthodoxy, making one with direct ties a prime target. In any case, the risk to her safety is clear, should she fall into Galerius's hands. And sitting idly by only serves to stoke my worry further. Let us be off at once. Wouldn't do that if I was you. No chance you're helping the girl if you don't even know where you're going. And you are? Don't worry, he's a friend. A collaborator of mine by the name of Travis. Fancy way to refer to a spy. You need intel, dirt, or just the latest weather, I'm your man. And what of Renault? Road east, faster than a clap of thunder. I can only assume he's going for the city. But the real problem is his army of mercenaries. We won't have to Renault, we've got to go through them. Your Highness, we all share your sense of urgency, but we've no hope of aiding Scarlet without first routing the enemy before us. Right. We depart as soon as we are able.
Got it. Your villainy. This one's mine. Come then. You don't stand a chance. This one's mine! March. I'm ready to hit something. Step forth. Victory grows ever closer. The time is at hand. 
Onward. Tis ours now. So, uh, what next? I'm up. We march. Set. The time is at hand. March. To me. Sure thing. On it. Your villainy ends here. Time is at hand. Onward. For the liberation. This one's mine!
I'm here. I just want to sleep. In service of the royal family, I'll not fail you. As you wish. I don't know. I just want to sleep. Gaze upon the face of your demise. I fight in me yet. For the liberation. What would you ask? By your word. I shall hold nothing back. Thank you. Glory <laughs> to the liberation! I've not chosen my grave yet, awaiting your command. Very well. Your villainy ends here. I've much room to improve. Victory grows ever closer. Come then. Time is at hand. Come. I'll be back. The battle is won. A trivial undertaking. What would you ask? As you wish. Hoist the banners. I'll not fail you. Very well. I shall hold nothing back. me yet I've not chosen my grave yet awaiting your command by your word I have taken it as our own ready on it we march Set. Your villainy ends here. I am your shield. We march on. Victory grows ever closer. To me. Time is with us, should we only keep our focus. Yes, sir. What would you ask? Very well. I have arrived.
shall not fail you by your word. I am yours to command, Your Highness. Defeat will soon be upon us. Well, look who finally came knocking. Apologies, but I fear we lack the time for pleasantries. <laughs> Figures. Let's get it over with, then. Sure thing. The time is at hand. Yes, sir. Awaiting your command. Very well. So, uh, what next? Gaze upon the face of your demise. A 
alone, are you? What happened to your friends? Long gone by now. But with all the time about them? Never could have done without you lot chasing me halfway to hell and back, though. The fort's empty, your majesty. Not a soul in sight. Guy laid out the bait, and we just had to take a nibble. Strange. Few leaders would play the sacrificial lamb in such a predicament. <laughs> Don't flatter yourselves. I would have shook you off like weak old mud if I hadn't hurt my leg in our little scuffle. But hey, that's just part of the job. You're gambling with your life the second you take that coin. Then you know how this ends. Stay your blade, Lex. There's something I need to ask him. What does Galerius want with Scarlet? I'll take any scraps of information you may have, please. You do realize I'm just hired steel, yeah? They keep my pockets nice and heavy, and that's as far as my curiosity goes. So, sorry, but I'm not a questions kind of guy. At least not past my bottom line. Well, what do we do with him? Let's say I offered to fill those pockets instead. What then? <laughs> First, I'd ask if you still had all your marbles, but I'm not the discriminating type. As long as the pay's right. If this is supposed to be a joke, I'm not laughing. We're trying to beat the enemy, not hire them. It's not every day you come across a man willing to greet the heavens in order to see his allies safe. Now, our aim is to liberate these lands from the oppressive clutches of Zenoira and its emperor. I'd ask your aid in that battle. You know, I had heard you were nothing more than the crumbs of some spineless resistance that got chewed up and spat back out. Never would have guessed you're really just a pack of reckless lunatics. This so-called lunatic is none other than Prince Elaine, true-born heir to the Cornian throne. And our war is a righteous one. <laughs> You're trotting around the crown brat of a dead and gone kingdom trying to flip a whole damn empire? Sorry, kids, but I don't like them odds. Doesn't sound like he's interested. <laughs> Hope you know I don't come cheap. Does that mean you'll join us? Granted, you're willing to foot the bill. King Megan's not an everyday job for a merc. But you've seen enough to know I'm worth the gold more. So we got a deal? We'll even cut you a little discount. Now that we've settled matters here, we move to rescue Scarlet. Time grows short. Indeed. It's more than evident Galerius had some grand purpose in kidnapping her. Delivering her from his bloodied talons may strike a heavy blow to the heart of his aims. Perhaps, but this is far sooner than we had planned. Our allies remain scattered through every realm of Fevrith. Casting the gauntlet at Renault's feet would only send us all to an early grave. If I may add, there are those among Galerius's adherents who willfully chose to betray the Queen those long years ago. I fear we have no hope of avoiding conflict with such base traitors. It would seem we'll need to bolster our ranks, then. Your Highness, upon ushering you to Palavia, I labored tirelessly to build a foundation upon which the Liberation Army can take hold. I have seen great suffering in our lands, tis true, and yet greater resentment harbored by the oppressed and the downtrodden. I have every faith such fierce emotion will spur them to join our cause. My Prince, Fly your crest, cross the banner of the Liberation. Spearhead the rebellion against Zenoira, and you will surely find kindred spirits ready to take arms in your name. Then I will do just that. I only ask that you be the crutch I may lean on when the perils of war grow too great to bear alone. <laughs> <laughs>